Hi, I'm Lays and I'm the author of Three Dishes, One Soup Inside the Singapore Kitchen. So today I'll be teaching you guys how to make this recipe, which is from my maternal grandmother, and I'll be going through with you step-by-step -step procedures to make this delicious steamed fish. Basically, this fish dish is perfect for people who hate fishy smell because we'll be using all the pungent ingredients like Taochiu sauce, which is a fermented soybean paste, and there's this bunch of aromatics which will cut through any fishy taste. So when you steam it all together, it will be really aromatic and delicious. And for the steamed fish, you can choose to use either a whole fish or a filet is perfect as well. In the recipe book, I specified red grouper, but today we have white snapper. You can choose whatever fish that's convenient for you. So when you have a whole fish, in order to ensure even heat distribution during the steaming process, you can score the fish on each side around two to three times. So you make an incision down, but not all the way through, just halfway, and the other side as well, before you steam the fish. And usually for getting the freshest fish, I will go to a trusted stall in my neighbourhood wet market. There'll be one or two particular stalls where I uh, really trust the product. If you're not sure, you can just go to the wet market and usually if the queue is really long and all the like aunties and uncles are hoarded there, uh, it would be a safe bet. If not, just trust your eyes and your nose. Uh, just pick up the fish and smell it. It shouldn't smell smelly and the eyes shouldn't be cloudy. So let's start with the sauce. And the base of the sauce is made from this three aromatics, which is ginger, garlic and chilli padi. For this one here, I have pounded them together in a mortar and pestle to kind of release the flavour compounds. What you can do as well is to just finely mince everything with a knife. And yeah, let's get started with the sauce. Pour some sesame oil inside and it has to be really low heat because you don't want the aromatics to burn before they have a chance to release their flavours. So what we're doing now is um, just stir-frying the aromatics until they release their flavours and brown. So I'm going to add the Taochiu paste. This is just fermented soybean paste. This is the, the key to making a delicious sauce because it is so full of funky fermented flavours. And it pairs really, really well with all the aromatics and, and the fish. Just give it a quick sauté once it hits the pan. Once you get a whiff of the Taochiu smell, you can switch off the heat and that's the sauce done. Okay, so we have our sauce made here and what we're going to do is we're going to smear it on top of this plank of fish and steam it. And when it steams, the sauce kind of trickles down with um, the steaming juices and it forms its own sauce in the steamer. If you want the steamed fish to be a bit more on the saucy side, you can add a little bit of water into this pot. And what it does is it kind of um, helps to soak up the remaining sauce so you don't waste a single drop of the Taochiu sauce that you just created. And then you kind of pour it all over the fish before you, you, you steam it. And this will result in a steamed fish that has more sauce. So now we're going to steam the fish and it depends on how big your fish is. Usually steam on high for around 6 to 8 minutes and what I will do is I will switch off the heat and let the fish cook in the residual heat. You just leave it in there and let it sit for like one to two minutes and then you will have tender and moist flaky flesh. Okay, so we have our steamed fish. As you can see, the, the sauce has pulled all around and it will be flavoured by all this yummy stuff. And you can tell when a fish is cooked, when you take a fork or a chopstick and you poke it all the way down and up, it should meet with no resistance and the flesh should be flaky and tender inside. And to tell if a fish is fully cooked, its eyes will be completely opaque and white as well. And there you have it, steamed fish with Tao Chiu. So if you guys want to check out more of this like traditional home-cooked recipes, you can check out Three Dishes, One Soup inside the Singapore Kitchen and it will be retailing wherever books are sold and it will also be retailing on my website aroundthediningtable.com So if you guys want to check out more food stories, more recipes or if you want to purchase this book, you can check out the link below or on top. You can check out the link. <laughs>